You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. All right. I think we are ready to rock. My man, Prince Perez, are you ready to rock? I thought. Oh, yeah. I, see him I thought you was never going to ask. Huh? <laughs> I thought you <laughs> was, was never going to ask, man. <laughs> for real, for real. What is good, everybody that has joined? This is episode 157 of the Not Your Man's podcast. So you should already know. 157. Bro, that's not Ooh. including all the interviews we used to do, which I am oh, I keep saying gosh. I'm going to start it. I'm going to start it. <laughs> yeah, we need to start it. I'm ready to interview these uh, good and whack rappers. Yo, facts. It's, fun, it's funner when you game. interview the whack rappers. I think you have. Mo- it's more of a good time with them because they will blatantly tell you to their face that like they love rap oh oh bro i want all the excuses like i want all that energy all that energy that they take in the booth like bring it with you facts facts <laughs> all that, that confidence shit, yeah. all that confidence for real for real but um either way this is episode 157 today is going to be run by me john d and my man prince perez we're going to be Hello. holding down the fortress but that means we have two spots for anybody that wants to jump in and talk about certain projects and stuff like that so hey man the the mic is yours i'm looking at the chat i'm out here in these streets and for anybody who doesn't know how things go down i will give a quick rundown because i feel like that makes life easy for the listeners who don't necessarily know what's going on but we're going to run down everything that we dropped all the reviews we dropped this past week and we're going to talk about them we're going to give a quick run through of how we feel and yeah, that's pretty much how this goes. So if you want to send stuff to us, notyourmans.com slash submit. And if you want to see our reviews, notyourmans.com, notyourmans on all social media. But either way, I'm ready to get this started. Yeah, man. Let's get it. <laughs> I know Reckless is going to be in this chat going crazy because some of these projects that we <laughs> might, we low-key violated are probably his his people's or he sent in. So, <laughs> well, first, first of all, let's let's give a quick shout out to to Regulus because he, oh, yeah, he definitely Reckless gave us an man. interview this week. So Yo, yeah, yeah, me too. I definitely want to give a shout out to him. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Reckless man, Reckless DWR. He's doing his thing, bro. He he supports his scene so heavily, but he supports underground hip hop so much. And like, I get it. Like, I know how it is to be like that type of person. But he's his energy is relentless, bro. Like, you're not gonna take him down. And that's what I like, bro, because we need that because there's, you know, there's a lot of fake out there. There's a lot of bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit support. He genuinely loves this shit. So he's like, yo, I'm here having he's here for a good time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not here for a long time. Here for a good time. (laughs) Facts. Facts. But yo, shout out to Reckless. Check him out. Add him on socials. He's got some dope interviews on the way. He's posted some dope interviews. And if you rock with the Bay Area, he's pretty much your tour guide if you can't get your way out there like your web tour guide to the bay area he knows things he's e40's cousin he might as well be but um <laughs> the yay well. area fact yeah. so mine as well yo fact he, he he's the man bro had a dope dope interview with him yo secondly i just want to get this out the way to to mention to you did you play split gate yet um no sir i was waiting on yo, you my god it's literally Fine. halo with portals bro it's fantastic no, I was watching I was watching like um gameplay loops on YouTube and oh, I was like, yo, I can really get into this game. Like it's that so, shit it's looks so fire. Either. You know what I think I like about it? The fact that it's so simple. Mm. You know, you you know what it reminds me? It reminds me of the first portals. Halo. It, it, it that's what I'm Portal. saying. Well, that's what it brings me back to. Because the first Halo I used to play online with XBC. I used to have the Xbox mm. Connect on the computer, and I used to have a good time with that. And that's how I met some of the people that I played with like forever on Halo. They're, they're like my homies in real life now. But it reminds me of that because it's so simple, but it's so innovative. And it's like so much fun. Like It's just it's hectic, though. Like I, I fuck with it. It's dope as hell. But either way, let's get on to this episode. Let's rock with it. We started this week off pretty fucking rough. We had, uh, you can unlock the door, Gabe. The microphone's going to pick every single thing up. She's trying to leave. It sounds like somebody <laughs> breaking into my place. She'll be sneaking out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so <laughs> we started off the week with uh, Mind of a Wicked Goon by Young Iggs. Oh, boy. Can, so I, can I just um, start this off, please? Because yeah, go for it. I couldn't get past the first two songs. You see, the intro was... <laughs> It's and just then about a drill. Yo, bro, turn it off. <laughs> like this project <laughs> is just weak. Like, and it's not that it's like, yeah, like there comes a certain point, like, all right, the quality's good. 
You know what I'm saying? The beats are okay. Yeah, the quality is really good. But there comes a point where it's like, bro, I have heard this 7,000 times. Like, this is like... What's the most average meal you could think of? That's just like you'll eat it if that's all you have, but it's just so average. Ramen. Huh? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Top ramen. Noodles. Not even not even the package ramen, like a cup of noodles. Now yeah. imagine if like McDonald's or not even McDonald's. Imagine you go to a fucking like Outback Steakhouse or you go to a fucking a, a Michelin star restaurant and they give you a cup of noodles. Mm. You'd be like, I don't know. Fuck I don't this? know because if you go to like a five star restaurant to give you a cup of noodles, but, they gotta be fire ass noodles. No, but no, no, you. but just a we cup can't noodles. like compare. Just no, a just a cup of noodles, like nothing noodles. they added, nothing, yeah. nothing. Just, like no, like they don't yeah, even nah. make it. Like they I literally home, they, bring, they bring it to your table <laughs> and they come with a tea kettle <laughs> and fill it up with, with hot water. Yeah, get that shit out of here, Yo, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like okay, like I get it. It's a cup of noodles, like. Okay, but everybody can do that. Everybody can right. pour hot water and keep the lid on. You know, there's no extra. It's a clone. Like, you can buy it wholesale. And that's what this shit like that is from. He does... Yeah, and I, I see that. Reckless saying there's not a lot of artists from uh, Modesto that have that quality. And he has the quality, but he's not doing anything original. Like, every single word in this is typical mainstream unoriginal words. His rhyme flow... The the you know the beat selection is just so cookie cutter, bro. It's like he wants to be mainstream so bad that he's making a mainstream album without being mainstream. Yeah, yeah. Like he's afraid to not do something else. Like he's literally like, all right, let me find an artist, no one that people like, and let me do exactly what they do, but like not even as crazy. I'm not gonna take any risks. I'm just gonna do it as simple and as generic as humanly possible, just to be safe. You know, just to get signed by like, you know, some corny like generic records, like ride the wave records type shit. And it's just it's like bro, <laughs> ride the wave. Oh my god. Like I, I, I just can't handle it. It's just so plain. It's so boring to me, bro. Like I mean, I, I just don't didn't like it. I didn't like his lyrics. I didn't like because I mean, you've heard it. The production, it's yeah. It, it's just it's it said and not to say it sounded dated, but it sounded dated. You know what I'm saying? It's because like we've heard everything it so he was many saying times. is times. Yeah, it just wasn't Nah, I just didn't it's like, like it. It's like someone. And it's going, crazy. He has a dope It's like voice. someone literally pointing at a stormtrooper in the background of a Star Wars army and going, "Oh, I like that one." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's crazy because he has a dope voice, and the beat selection wasn't bad. Like it was, yeah, th- there was some pretty cool beats on there. Like a lot of them, like with some bops. But it was just like if you don't have nothing to go with the bop, then it's not yeah. a bop. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're not even working, you're not even doing anything, it, it, then it's like, what's? it's a waste of a bop, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, we feel you, Reckless. Yeah, he has it off his chest. He said he has it off his chest. He has a buzz now, so he should do better. Hopefully, he takes more risks. And I'm not saying to just go crazy and put out a fucking, you know, uh, R&B but album. be yourself. Be but yourself. yeah. Sprinkle a Because it sounded like it just wasn't him. Like, be yourself. Yeah. That's At this I, point... And I know I'm probably not even the only one. Like, I know we may be picky, but I feel like even labels. At this point, if you have a story that's so simple, like, oh, man, I tripped going up the stairs, going into my house. They'd be like, that's original as fuck because nobody's saying it. <laughs> yeah, that's a okay. fact. That's okay. So he has to, like, I need something more. So that project just bored the shit out of me. I was just super over it. I'm like, uh, I, I didn't care for it. Like, and I never want to hear it again because it just, it was below the, the average line. It was so cookie cutter that I took points away. Yeah. So, but yeah. there's that. So I this agree. next one, oh my god, this next one caused a ruckus on our page. This next one's hilarious, yeah. and I know <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. So this was still stocked in by Thre Forty, Thre Forty, Thre. I think threat. his name is Threat. It's Threat, but he's a threat. So that's not how fucking. That's not how it's pronounced. It's pronounced Thre Fort. All the right. Fort. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't know, bro. It's stupid. I don't know. It's fucking stupid. It's a it's a PlayStation Network gamer tag, and. Yeah. This project, another one, this is worse because this is like fucking, you know, low rider music, cookie cutter garbage. And this dude, honestly, he fucking ruined that fucking uh the 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 fucking Tupac. <laughs> they did that fucking uh he did the two the Tupac. Oh, the Tupac, but yeah, he had two yo, first of all, those beats was I like like if he yeah. would have had like some actual substance behind it like i could have really rolled behind it like it was just i don't know one i really didn't like his voice all too much like it no, just sounded like sound some, fake. It, 
Yeah, it sounded like he was forcing the the accent. Like, not yeah. that, you know, that, that Cali swag type accent, yeah, the yeah. Bay Area it just, it accent. So like, it felt like it was, was so forcing. aggressively stiff that it sounded like yeah. a dub in like a low budget movie. And then on top of that, it was littered with all of his homies, which I'm not mad at because <laughs> some of them was really rapping. Like, some of them was really snapping. I, but he, I'm not but even nothing else was helping it. <laughs> but nothing, yeah. It was just like, it, it was like, it, it was him and his friends. And it was all like, you know what? We're going to go to the studio, we're going to make a fire ass album. And, you know, we're going to see what happens. And then they went to the studio. They made a, a bullshit ass album and yeah, they, they made put a it out fire, there. but in a trash can. Yeah, this is total dumb stuff. I, I didn't like it at all. I know uh, it was, I know it was one of reckless homies. When I heard that fucking but, that, that um that the, was it the picture me rolling fucking beat switch up that whole shit. Yeah, I was like, bro, throw this shit. I'm like, this is the most garbage shit I've ever fucking heard. Like, don't one, don't disrespect Tupac like that. Like he's in Cuba exactly. somewhere pissed. But like two, like. I don't know. Just this wasn't it for me. But then what made it even funny was this dude tried to come at us with all his bought followers. And that shit killed me, bro. This nigga tried to come at us talking about, oh, nobody saw this. I'm like, bro, I know what our numbers look like. It is what it is. But don't come on here with like 20K followers and like, you know, a, a hundred likes <laughs> and shit like that. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. And then he got nah, so okay. mad that. He fucking came on. Um, he went on a post of when I was just talking in video of me and he had no because he has no bar. So clearly he has no jokes either because he's got to work past like a third grade level. This nigga going to talk about <laughs> oh, you have carpet hair. I'm like, bro, you've never seen locks before. Like, get the fuck out of here. I have carpet. Oh, hair. My, my bad, bro. My bro. My Yo, bad, shout bro. Out. Shout out Tank uh, McCoy though. Tank Tank McCoy, I said Tank. Shout out Tank McCoy though because oh, Tank he was, was the truth. he really you know, he really called me out. He was like, "Yo, bro, I've never seen Prince drop no review like this." Like he was at a loss of words. Like, <laughs> yo, and it's crazy because I really was like, "Yo, bro, I, really, I was really sitting there thinking of so many yeah. different jokes." And by the time yeah. I actually got to doing the review, I was like, "Yo, bro, I really don't have the energy." Yo, fat, <laughs> especially like yo, like come on, bro. <laughs> Oh, I don't care about Mexican rappers can say the N word because like, you know, Spanish vote, like any people of seasoning, as far as I'm concerned, can get a pass. Like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I, like, agree. I just I don't, rock no with, I don't rock with white folks doing it because they made it out of hatred. You know what I'm saying? Like they get they yeah, get thanks. the easy fucking racial words. But if you got seasoning, there's and there's a racist word for you. You can use other racist words. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I feel because I mean, you, know you look at it. You look at it in another light. I mean, you you don't see, you don't see like a lot of other people coming out and just they, the N word is, is synonymous with hip hop culture and hip hop. <laughs> so at the end of the day, like if you're in a hip hop culture and you don't use the N word, Yo, fact, I Mexican have to rappers do be fire. Validity. Yeah, I don't yeah, know any Mexican rappers. To be honest, snow with you. the snow the my wife. Snow the product is Mexican. Yeah. Oh yeah. No way. Fun. Yeah. No fucking way, bro. Come on, bro. She, she's she's chula as hell. Uh, I thought she was. I thought she was Colombian or some shit, bro. Nah, she. Well, I mean, you know, you know how we get. But <laughs> yo, yo, trip. She's fire. Damn. Damn. But yeah. So this dude, though, like, what's also funny is he came at me talking about carpet hair, but had this little line of dirt over his top lip, and had the nerve to come at me when his top lip was done just as cleanly as his eyebrows. Like, bro. Sit down. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> right, bro. Sit down. You know, you know what? Give me. If you want to give me rap, raps that I'm off, like that I'm convinced by, talk about how you get your eyebrows threaded, bro, with your dirt nah. on your top lip, bro. Like, how old are you? You, you know really gotta be tight, though, bro. He had put up a post because I had went to his Instagram when when all that shit was going down in the comments and shit. Because I thought yeah. about com I, like I thought about commenting back to him, but I was like, nah. Like, just like the review is really not worth my energy, <laughs> and I was yeah. in a really good energy space that day. Oh yeah. So I went, I went to his Instagram page and I'm like, Trash. bro, this nigga got 27k followers. Okay, and like, let me uh, go to his hundred pictures. likes per post. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, what the? F there was. Oh shit, we lost Prince. Prince, that's how heated Prince was about this situation. Is that he ended up getting interrupted? He probably got a phone call or some shit. But yo. This fucking still Stockton project is garbage. Like, if I was from Stockton and someone said this project represented like Stockton, I'd be pissed off. I'd be like, no, it's not. Phone call. My yeah, bad. I know. Yeah, when I have to put yeah, my shit but, on. Do not disturb. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to do it right now. But yo, so there was this one post. Yeah, I put. And he was like, I remember running around thinking this gun was everything, and it was one of them little cap guns. Where you put like the the gunpowder, the yeah. gunpowder things in it. Yeah, bro. I'm like. 
Yo, bro, first of all, if I'm a gangster, I'm never posting some shit like that. Like, you would never... I, I, I'm not posting... Uh, yo, I used to run... No, bro. No. I used to run around... <laughs> I used to run around with these hands, nigga, like... <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is you talking? Yeah. No, like, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, yo, he... I had time because you didn't have time that day. I had time. I went on his page. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have violence. time that day. I, I went on his page. You, did. You, you woke up. Like, you woke up and, and, and chose violence, I, and I appreciate that. I do. <laughs> Yo, because <laughs> fucking really like, do. come on, bro. Like, don't come at me, and you you can't even grow a mustache. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like sit down, young man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> fuck it. What's the name? Oh, we are. Yo, <laughs> Ebukizu in our state. Our thing said, "Oh, we troll celebs." So we. If you don't want to know, we're like, if this is your first time tuning in, what we do. So we review anything. We review underground everything. stuff, but we run underground. We review mainstream. We review hip hop. And, and yeah, anything hip hop. Anything hip hop. But we have our own twist to it. And if we don't like it, we crack jokes. We shit on. We we will roast the shit out of you. But it's very honest. We don't. We have like a system. We listen to things once. We don't do the hype. We don't get. You can't pay us off. Like make us give you a good review. We will keep it very honest because we're artists ourselves. And we've been blocked by so many celebrities or people just lose themselves in our comments. Like they'll curse us out or try to get tough. Like this guy we're talking about who went on our page and saw a video of me and I didn't even review his project and try to come at me for having locks. Like shit is, is, is crazy, but we, we have a time. Didn't we, Dave East, the don't Dave East still have us blocked? Yeah. Dave East cannot yeah, stand. Dave he East. could not stand. Yeah, me I, wouldn't, I, I cooked blocked? the shit out of him. Dave East has us <laughs> blocked. Quentin Miller blocked. Yo, Quentin Miller got, not only did he, come at us in our comments he got jumped by like our fans and then blocked us <laughs> and then blocked all of our reviewers individually so that that was a good time so got us blocked fucking um oh, 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 oh a lot of a lot of got us blocked. remember remember that review remember when oh, she yeah. came with her uh she jumped in with her little burner phone oh yeah <laughs> her burner account yo you know who blocked <laughs> my favorite block was um fetty Watt blocked us because our old reviewer JP started his review off like, "Oh shit, Fetty Wap's doing kids bop music now," and Fetty Wap blocked us, and that shit was oh top God. tier for me, top top five easily. Yeah, that gotta be top five. Yeah, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. People want to be hate. Yeah, Davey Davey's a fucking troll. He he like cried. To, like people are just birds, man. De oh, Demrick blocked us, unblocked us, blocked us. <laughs> <laughs> like Demrick went nuts. He blocked us, unblocked, and when he blocked us the last time, it was a good review. <laughs> but it is what it is. Like, don't be a Fetty Wap. I don't know. Or maybe both his eyes are gone. But anyways, this still stock this shit is garbage. <laughs> don't listen to it. <laughs> yeah. This still stock this yeah. shit is trash. That dude's a, a whole bird crying and gone. shit like that. Yo, Reckless, my fault, man. We don't want you to go through Stockton strap, man. That's our apologies. Yo, honestly, honestly, <laughs> all he got to do is get rid of that bullshit ass fucking accent. And let one of his homies shine because one of, I, I forget which one it was. But that yeah. nigga nice. Out of yeah. all, uh, out of he all the features, people on there. Of, he some people on there. Yeah, it was like twenty something fucking features on there, but two, or three of them was was fucking nice. There comes no, a point I, I where you have to say this is the dude that might get us out out the hood, and not this guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Because it's not him. <laughs> so, all right, good, reckless. As long as you good, reckless, we apologize. <laughs> Trust me, nah, yo, you reckless, one thing you gotta know. I told people off because I'm <laughs> I'm like a old school like goon. Like I am just like I I will solve any problem with my hands, and if I get my ass kicked, I'm 100 percent okay with it. So uh, when I started this page, I told people I, I would be a hundred if I got shot, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, it's not like I'm doing this and I'd be shocked. Like, why me? Like I'd be like, oh, you, you, you. <laughs> And then I'd go down, you know, like I'd be, it'd be a rap for me, but <laughs> either way. So the next project was, uh, oh my God, another number in the name. This was Everest by this dude, Theory or Seven Hiri. Um, I fucked with this project. I really fucked with this project. This dude's cadence and his voice, his like delivery was super dope. And I, I, his voice was just very unique to me. And I was super, super on board with that. Like, I thought his voice was dope. He can rap, too. And he mixed it up on here. He had uh, he had a lot of variety. And I thought the production worked with him the entire time. Like, he was riding with it. Like, he was sliding on every beat. Like, this, this was just good chemistry. Like, you can tell when he made this. He was like, oh, this feels good from every beat, you know? Yeah, I liked it. I, I think I, he had a good time. You, uh, yeah, you know when shit off his you know when somebody like has a good time because you feel the vibe, like you yeah. feel the energy, and I felt yeah. it the entire time. 
Like, yeah, yeah. Was, when that, I was bumping I liked this it. too, I enjoyed it. I like, you know, sometimes because I work from home now, so I have, I have no reason to own a fucking car. But I was bumping this, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for a fucking ride. I like went in my car. I went driving around, and I just put this on, and I was doing the review of my car. Don't drive and text people, but um, I'm you know putting emojis up in my fucking phone, and I was just like, yo, this this project slides. He's talking real shit. It's short. It's seven songs. The beat slide and like just that whole feeling behind it. I was just like, yo, I can get on board with an artist who is just having fun and he got a crazy voice. So, you know, like someone who has a crazy voice and they're not trying to sound like anyone else or the norm, you know, they're 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 doing it for love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, thanks. Definitely one that I could tell people to listen to. It's a sleeper hit for me, for sure. Very, very much so a sleeper hit. So this next project, though, is my favorite. This is in my top five. This is my favorite project of the fucking week. Now, Trip, I know we give you a hard time, but this one wholeheartedly, you should have kept the diamond there. You should have gave it a 10. I fucked with this. This was Bloodsport Champions by the Bash Brothers. This First is of all, with, um, this Shark entire cuts. fucking project. <laughs> This should have been a ten. This is gonna be in my top five yeah. this year. Yeah, easily, easily this, in this, my top this, five. This album was was like, oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, like who are these dudes? So one who of the dudes these? we've one of the dudes we've given a <laughs> getting another phone call. So one of the dudes that was on this. Uh, so the three people on this is this dude Mal, uh, this dude Sharp Cuts, and Sice Boogie. So Sharp Cuts does the beats. I think Mal's Mal does the you know he's rapping with him. He's one of the Bash Brothers, and then the other Bash Brothers, Precise Politics. And for those who don't know, Precise Politics is fucking dope. So Precise Politics, we built a bit of a relationship with because he he's very theme heavy. He loves doing theme projects. Like he did a whole album that was like mobster movie influenced. He did a whole other album with, uh, you know, Grammy Award winning producer fucking Drugs Beats that was super street heavy, had a dope fucking story to it, had music videos, and it was like a street hood story. So this dude, Precise Politics, writes out these very elaborate things to stuff that he loves. Like he loves film, he loves cinema, and he... I'm assuming was just like, cause I know he always told us he fucked with wrestling. He was like, yo, I'm gonna put together a project. So him and this dude, they put together this like masterpiece. Now, if anybody watches shows like, um, like the glow on fucking Netflix or that new show with the dude from arrow or shit, just love stuff about wrestling. You know what I'm saying? This is loaded, loaded with fucking gems, bro. Gems yeah, left this, and right. This was a, a real good time. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. This should have been a 10. Yeah, this, it. To me, this is a 10. This is a fucking 10. And what's crazy I mean, is the We was giving Trip a hard time, though. We yeah, oh, yeah. Trip we a hard giving time. You a hard time. Trip, that's how we do. We give everybody a hard time. That's the love of it. <laughs> Trip said, yeah, he said it kept, he kept on theme. He said it was nostalgic. Yo, honestly, this brought me back to... And I love wrestling. I, I'm a fan of wrestling for many eras, except for the New Age era. But, like, this reminded nah, first of all, me Attitude of, era is the best era. Oh and I think God, that's what he was trying era. to do. You know I what this reminds me to of? Bring that attitude so, This project reminded me. Oh, Sting's the goat. So my favorite wrestler is fucking uh, Ultimate Warrior. But this project reminded me of back in the day. So when I was younger, younger, when ECW used to come on Mad late at night on like some discreet fucking channel, and I remember mm-hmm. watching the Dudley Boys go from ECW to the WWF. That's what this album reminded me of, mm. and. That whole like experience for me was dope, but like on top of that, if you like wrestling or not, this is aggressively hard hip hop. Like haymaker punchlines, bars, bars, references, fucking cooking, like metaphors, all of it. Dope voices, dope contrast clashes, and then it's dope skits and then aggressive beats. Like everything worked, and even when they weren't being aggressive, that shit fucking worked. Like cashmere ostrich feather. Oh my god. It slapped. <laughs> there was there was at least three diamonds on it. Yo. I'm not even mad. I'm not mad at the fact that like the way because I get it. After we had you know kind of razzled trip a little bit, like he kind of like you know revised or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I, I just wanted him to be sure because the rating yeah. that he gave them and with the diamonds, like a diamond off the rip. If you get a diamond in it and, and the album is this fucking fire, it's yeah. got to be a ten. Bro. It's got to be a ten. Like you can't. You, yeah, and and. In my opinion, there was at least three diamonds on it. Oh, yeah. Like this seriously. this was a ten point one for me, bro. Like that oh, ass. Yeah. Like there's there was nothing wrong with this album whatsoever. And usually oh, yeah. when we get when we have to review these albums and we're we're like micro, you know, not like micromanaging, but like yeah. putting them under a microscope and like really yeah. 
really analyzing what we're hearing. Because then, yeah, and if I, we go on I the podcast with a 10, bro. we kick each other's ass. That's a fact. It, I, yeah. I really felt like this was over a 10 for me. This if Yo. this is not album of the year, this is, uh, this is in the top five. This bro. is in the top ranking. Yeah, this album was incredible, bro. Like, honestly, the story that they told, and you know what, and the skits, like the skits were the perfect amount of corny. They were ridiculous. But that one... There was that one skit of the, it was in the beginning, the fucking, um, the tag team dudes and the other dude, yeah. the way he spoke, he was like singing. Like the guy was like, we're coming for you. And he was like, coming for you, baby. I thought that shit was so fucking <laughs> Yo. funny, bro. I was Yo, crying. Bro. Bro. I was like, this is top t-. Like, cause we get it. We like, we live that era of that corny, ridiculous shit. No, but they, D, they nailed bro. it. Bro. Yeah. They nah, you know what that reminded me of? That reminded me of when Undertaker and Kane, they came out and they had, uh, what, what's the other dude name? The uh, Paul Barrow. Oh yeah, back in the day. And every time, yo, yo, Kane and Undertaker didn't even have to speak. That nigga was just speaking for them and shit, oh, bro. Yeah. Like he was, he was really the man, bro. And he used to sell like, that yo, shit. He used to shake. He was all pale. He had the pale makeup on. Oh, he had the urn. Yeah, bro. Yeah, fire. Yo, yo, not for nothing. That still fucked up my childhood because when I grew up and realized that Undertaker and Kane wasn't brothers. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm still scarred. Yeah, like emotionally. Still hurts. Still hurt. Now Kane is like a <laughs> Kane's like a senator now. Yeah, that ass. Like he's like yeah. a whole governor or some shit. Yeah, he's like a whole wholesome senator guy. He's chilling right now. But super, Thanks. super fucking super dope. Anybody who likes wrestling or just aggressive hip hop, do that. Yeah, I saw Undertaker on Undertaker let me down with the whole Blue Lives Matter shit, but I still, you know, I remember where I came from. <laughs> <laughs> I did see Undertaker on Hot Ones Reckless. That shit was a good time. Yeah, I know, I know. Thanks. Fucked up, reckless. He didn't know Undertaker was a big Blue Lives Matterer, but um, you know, it is what it I is. I mean, I mean, it's kind of like you know what? You, you know who I wouldn't be surprised, but I know he isn't Stone yeah. Cold, and he isn't, that and that's the beauty of it. That's a, that's a yeah. But I mean, I always fuck with Stone. Stone Cold was like Stone Cold was the is the Go. white version of the Rock. If you really yeah. think about oh, it, yeah, him and the Rock is the white version of the Rock. The best feud in like wrestling. No, nah, without a doubt. And then when they started, when they started teaming up and going against Triple oh, it's H fantastic. and DX, oh my gosh, bro. oh fantastic! That's that's the era that I need back. Like we can never oh, yeah. get that back, bro. Yeah, we'll never get that back. And that was like that was like the best for us. Like back when it was like WCW versus WWE, like all of it. Then N sixty four came out with the best when THQ was putting out the best wrestling video games of all time. Oh, like, gosh, bro, First of all, no mercy is so top tier to me. I don't care what nobody says, bro. No Mercy is arguably the greatest wrestling game still of all time. Like as much as I, I'll give respect to SmackDown too, but No Mercy is uh, a whole I, I different can give, level. I give a lot of respect to Just Bring It. SmackDown, Just Bring It. Just Bring because It. Because I really yeah. feel like that was I really the perfect. Feel like it was yeah. Because The Rock really like helped him make that game. Because yeah. that's that's right before he made the um the, that Scorpion King movie. Yeah. So like that was right before he like actually left left. But that was the last Yo, game R. that R. I could R. really yeah. say was was really, really, really good. Yeah. But other than that, nah, no, no mercy, mercy is best. like still yeah, the number it's, one. It's, it's top tier, bro. Yeah, no top nothing. No game tier. comes close to no mercy. Like the amount of hours I put in that game with like my homies back in the day and just the customizability and the little shit, like the weapons and all the match types, and you can literally choose whatever you like. That game was it was next level. And, and just how easy it was to pull up moves. Like, yeah. That game but it also felt like a struggle. Like they had moves. the tire system and the grappling and like yeah, everything yeah. was timing. Like it, it felt like wrestling, bro. It felt like yeah, the fuck, facts. you could be as corny as you wanted. Like remember how hard it was to grab the fucking belt off the top of the ladder? That shit Yo, would cause bro, chaos. I used to hate it, bro. Hate it. <laughs> it the TLC hell. matches, especially if you're playing tag team and you're on a 64, oh you got God. full controllers and it's just you and your buddies. Yo, I that like is finger the blisters, worst. bro. That shit used to be chaotic. Yo, I used to love just leaving the ring, pulling out a table, <laughs> oh, <laughs> setting yeah. that or, shit up. Or, or the bell. Oh, the bell God. was my favorite weapon because it would ding and they'd fucking go down all dramatic. That shit was <laughs> the best, bro. You couldn't beat that. You couldn't beat that shit. No Mercy was top Yo, here, tier. We, can we talk about how The Rock always has the best, like, the best hits? Like, when he, oh, yeah. when he gets hit, like, oh, his yeah. reaction to getting hit, like, his, the, the it's best. top tier, bro. Top oh, tier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All top day. I, I, want, I just want Stone Cold in and the Rock back, bro. That's all I really Oh, want. my God. We we need those. There was, it was We a got whole Shawn different... Michaels back for a little bit. Let the facts. The go. Rock and Stone Cold. The goats, yeah, man. Oh, man. That's an error, bro. That's memory lane. But uh, 
But anyways, so that project, listen to it. Bash Brothers, li- like, I promise you, you won't be let down. Anybody listen to that shit. That's real hip hop right there. Thanks. So the next project was Hey by DVHR, formerly known as Little Curly Fry. I know you thought we ain't remember, but I remember Little Curly Fry. We got I receipts. I remember we got receipts. I got receipts and I rocked with Little Curly Fry. But um, I didn't fuck with this project. I um, I didn't like this at all. I think... <laughs> I think the over the auto tune was overdone. I think the generic cash bra- grab subjects were overdone. I feel like if it wasn't a super bubble gummy, like I held my girl first girl's hand at the mall type beat, then it was some like typical boring fake Drake sad boy shit. And I really wasn't, I wasn't feeling it, man. I I just was like I couldn't get on board. Like it didn't come together. For yeah, me. <laughs> I didn't. I, I felt like it was overproduced. Very, um, yo, if it wasn't overproduced, it was over engineered. Like when the songs were yeah. quieter, it was over engineered, like too much yeah. effects. And he he has like little melodies and shit, but like it's only so much a melody is going to get you to. Like if you're not giving us a good subject or like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're not yeah. trying anything, like it, it just, I just wasn't feeling it. It was, it just felt like a cash grab to me. Yeah, get this shit the fuck up out of here. This yeah. shit was trash. Yeah, I was I was super I was like I was let down because once I realized it was little curly fry, I was like, yeah, I used to like little curly fry, but this was just I don't know, man. This is just super fucking boring to me. It was it was very weak. It was garbage, bro. This is like this is like the, the weak light skin shit that we don't like, you know. And I love light skin yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? That's what's fucked up. Oh, Johnny loves the sad boy light skin love it. shit. I love it. So when it's not done right, <laughs> it's like, oh boy. When it's like it felt it feels like it, it feels like fucking the Oxygen Channel version of Sad Boy music. You know what I'm saying? Like Hallmark card type bullshit. Like it was corny. Not a fan. Yeah. Not a fan. I, yeah. This is, <laughs> throw it the fuck out. Yeah. Throw that shit way out. So then, and it's long too. So it's it's miserable. I, I struggled getting through that whole project. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Them long projects be fucking. I be in here mad, bro. I be in my room just spinning in my chair, pissed. I tried to do push ups. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been trying to push ups. Like, I thought I tried it was to just me because you know I got my gamer chair, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna be sitting in my shit too, bro. Like, what the fuck, bro? Yo, seriously. Why am I listening bro. to this? Oh my God. And I don't even be letting, like, the second the last verse ends, I make sure there's like 30 seconds left in the song. I just be skipping it, bro. That shit was miserable. Oh, yeah, bro. If they if they got, like, any skit or any funny shit at the end of their shit, and this shit is trash, I'm, not, I'm never going to hear it. I'm probably not going to hear it. Yeah, I'm probably stop, not going to hear it. Yeah, as soon as they stop rapping or that hook ends, and I just hear, like, a little little five-second window, and I know it's about <laughs> I'm to be, yeah, bro. I'm yeah, changing I'm this shit, yeah. I don't need any context. I don't care if there's a skit. I'm done. There's no Marvel fucking extra ending. I'm done. Yeah. So, yeah. yo, well, speaking of just comics, bro, Suicide Squad is a 10 out of 10. I don't, I don't. I wouldn't give it a ten out of ten. I give it a ten. I, I really it. enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Look, loved it. I watched it. You know what? And maybe it's because I only watched it on my phone, and I need to watch it on oh, a TV with the Seraph. Because is, remember, I was I was on my way back from New York. Yo, you know, it so is. On my yeah, flight back, yeah. I had downloaded it from HBO Max, and then I oh, watched it on my way back. It is. It so is I, an I only experience. Have my phone. It is an experience. I, it was good though. It was. I'm a little upset that you know. Spoiler alert. I'm a yeah. little mad that they killed off Colonel Flag because that was my guy. Uh, but I, only it is person what I was is. mad about was um Boomerang. Boomerang? He was my favorite in the yeah. first movie. Yo, but, bro, like yo, ten seconds into the fucking. But that movie. shit was the that whole beginning. I was dying, bro. I thought nah, that bro, because I was, was like, so I funny, thought it was bro. real. I thought it was like, oh, so we gonna get these niggas too? Yeah, <laughs> and they all died. When that nigga, yeah, when that fuck? nigga TDK, when he fucking, when he shot his arms off, yo, and he just started yo, like poking at them. Was, I was in tears. He was bro. I slapping was out of his stuff, yo, bro. Oh, oh yo, that, that, Nah, that, that movie definitely watch funny, it with bro. some like good, like good speakers. Like you get the bass booming because like when Starro's like doing his conqueror shit, it's nice and loud. It's dope, bro. That you hear all the. Oh, gore. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rewatch it because I. It's good. I'm, you know, I, I was supposed to watch it with my wife, but, you know, I watched it on the way back to, from New York. I had okay. nothing to watch, bro. All right, that's fair. <laughs> I watched, it, I flight, watched so. it three times, so that's why I'm confirming it's a 10 out of 10. First time I watched it, I was like, yo, I truly enjoyed that. Second time, I loved it. Third time, I caught more jokes, and I loved it more. I was like, this is fantastic. Yeah, I think I'm going to watch it again with fresh eyes because I just watched, like, the um, 
the uh, Easter egg video on YouTube mm. to see all like the little Easter eggs. So now yeah, I want to watch it just to watch and see like what yeah. other Easter eggs I can find. That's why I watch like it. That's why I watch it the third time because I watched the Easter egg thing too, just to see stuff if I yeah. missed anything. Yeah, that makes it even better. Yeah, that, that, it was a, it was a good time though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I thought that uh, Idris Elba was gonna like drop the ball the way to nah, the way amazing. Will Smith did in the first one, but nah, he he fucking nah, he did his me. yo that little mag shit where he takes it off and puts it on. The voice oh, yeah. changes and shit. Yo, I like that shit, Fine. bro. Shit is fucking. His, uh, his guns, the way his guns are transforming, fire, all fire. Yo, bro, how he like he just taking shit off his belt and just adding yeah. it to the gun, like yo, yeah, yep. yeah that's. What and then at the end, it, I almost caught a tear, bro. His daughter yeah. was like, "Yeah, that's my daddy." I was like, "Oh shit, yeah. hit me in the heartstrings." <laughs> fire, super fire. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, but super fire, definitely recommended. So the next project was, um, yeah, the star. Yeah, I saw the starfish reference in the Snyder Cut. Yeah, Star or the Conqueror is the fucking is, is from space. It's terrifying. Yeah. So the next project yeah. isn't was, that a um, Superman video? That's the Superman villain, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Starro. Yeah. yeah. So the next project we did was uh, the Soul Food EP by Pro Dillinger, and this was a very dope five piece, smooth beats, and very aggressive, like crazy raps. He sounds like Sticky Fingers to me. He sounded like Sticky he Fingers. He does. He does sound a little like Sticky Fingers over these smooth beats. And I and I fucked with it. It was straight straight <clears throat> to the point. Street raps. His cadence is dope. His flow is dope. I think he you should get all made. sorts of stuff like that. It was close. I you know, you I like to eight. be I like to be stingy with my ratings now. I like to get. I would have gave him an eight. Yeah, I, I know. like to get. I know, but it, it was an eight. It was a good solid eight, though. It was definitely. Like, it, I, it was probably. Eight. I, I, I was just being, you know, annoying. I bumped this like probably like three times, bro. Like back to yeah. back, because once the Cause it's, cause once it's such the, an easy um, listen too. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, what five, six songs? Yeah, five songs that flat, and that's it. It's probably uh, probably just under twenty minutes, and I was like, this is dope. Yeah, it was. It, I had a good time. I had a good yeah. time listening to this one. Yeah. I needed more. Honestly, that's I think that's why I didn't give him eight because I was like, bro, I oh, two come more on, songs. bro. I needed like two come more on. songs. <laughs> nah, not the not not even gonna hold you, bro. Like if you would have put like two or three more songs on here, I wouldn't have even have been mad at it. Wouldn't yeah, I would have been hundred percent okay time. with that. Yeah, because if you had five where you just never let up that type of energy and pace, two more wouldn't have hurt. Two, three more Yo, wouldn't you have know, hurt. You know we missed the release this week, right? Huh? We missed the release this week. What we missed? We missed the Tory. Tory dropped the uh, EP. He dropped the five piece. Oh, did he? Yeah. It's, it's you know what I saw? I saw. I had two others of the release. I had that. Uh, what's his name? Edo G or someone like dropped, and someone else. And mm -hmm. I was like, they're both twenty songs. So I was like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was good like, I, am, I will pass. I couldn't have stress <laughs> in my life. I was like, no. But I, oh my I gotta look for it because sometimes <clears throat> Tory stuff doesn't come up. Like iTunes has been beefing with him, so they don't put him under the new releases. But sometimes he does yeah, also no, drop to, like R and B. I was going through because when I got to New York, like um, my best friend, she picked me up from the airport or whatever. So mm -hmm. I put my phone on for the aux and shit. And usually when I when I'm in my car, I put on like new hip hop or whatever, see what's out yeah. there, see the new songs. And plus, me in New York, so I wanted to turn shit up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make so. Up. So some pops, a pop smoke song played, and then right after it was a Tory song. I'm like, yo, Tory dropped a new song. Like I hear uh, this shit. And you it looked it up. It was a five piece. Yeah. So he just dropped the EP. So I'm gonna okay. have to, I'm gonna have to uh, review that shit tonight. Okay. All we'll right. Have a, solid. We'll have a but yeah, I definitely want to check that out. But all right, solid. So um, the next project, this is an older one, but it just came to all streaming. So sometimes we do that. We know people love to be like, this came out already. But like, relax. So this was uh, <laughs> only the generals gonna understand the EP by Kevin Gates. Um, I believe this was a 2019 release that he just got on there. It was like a a mixtape thing, but um, uh, uh, Kevin Gates to me has First such a dope all, I'm not voice. A fan. He has the dopest voice, but he doesn't do anything with it. I'm not a fan. First of all, I don't like when he does anything auto tune. He anything does. Yo, he does too much, and he gets really, he just don't really need it. aggressively like sexual, and it's like chill out. Yeah. Like it's, just, it's almost uncomfortable for me. I'm just <laughs> upset about it because I think he has a dope voice. Like if he, because sometimes he'll rap, rap, and then I fuck with it. But he, I don't know if he raps over like, you know, when Gucci Man does his aggressiveness stuff and he does like the scary shit. If Kevin Gates did that, I think his voice and his style of rapping would shine. But he just wants to do right. new age and like laid back and like shit. But I'm like, your voice is mad deep, bro. Like nobody wants to hear a demon. Rapping some smooth shit, talking about buttholes and shit. Like that. You know what I'm saying? 
fact, bro. <laughs> that shit is That's terrifying, bro. Like, what girl are you trying to turn? Like, that shit is scary, bro. <laughs> Like the cookie monster trying yeah. to fucking <laughs> yeah. cookie we monster had our trying to fucking ever. talk it's about done. yeah, bro. Like it's and done. and at least Jabru was cool about it, bro. There was no yeah, order because he got like ladies really on back here. Then. Yeah, Jabru bro. At least got just... like pretty sounding ladies. Kevin Gates just be auto tuning himself, and that shit sounds scary, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm I'm just not a fan. I'm not a yeah. fan. And, and, and it's, it's crazy because I want to be a fan. Because like I think he's yeah, I do too. He gives good interviews. He's a smart talker. And when he does decide to rap, it's dope, but he doesn't do it often. Like, he'll give you yeah. one good rap song per release. And his releases are usually not this short. So it's like, it's 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 hard. It's hard to be on board with it. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> Super tough. So this uh, this next this next one, um, this is a little religious jam jam. This is a little smooth. This is all right. It had one really bad song, but this was Thank You, God, For It All by, Chi- by uh, Childish Major. And... um. This is cool, man. This was uh, this is one of those ones that's very unique for a new age. It's like someone taking the new age style and then mixing it up in their own way. So I can appreciate the creativity. And oh, <laughs> Trip shit. said, "Who's getting yelled at? Somebody just got yelled." <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Somebody's going down. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this yeah, this childish major dude. I think he's super smooth, and I and I fuck with his energy. Like I just feel like. He's kind of because he's has to be, I guess, classified in the subgenre of the new age that he has a checklist that he has to check off where he has to do certain things. But either way, I think his sound is mad unique. I think he's super smooth. He's very vibe heavy. I just that young baby Tate song is fucking garbage. Yeah, it's, I don't like that. I don't fuck with young baby Tate. You know, and it's and crazy. That song is trash. It's crazy because I, I like Jada's major. Like, I think I think he's a. He has a dope like sound. Like yeah, his sound is really dope. It's really different. Like it's very different. Like I can't really put him fully in a box yet. Yeah. So I mean, I I, I didn't. I, it's not that I hated this album. I just yeah. I wanted more out of it. Put it yeah, that way. yeah, yeah. The Kanye Seven Song thing is like not enough. Yeah, it isn't. Especially when when you're vibing and you're going through a good album and everything is just clicking everything is just rolling on all cylinders then it just suddenly stops it's like you left so much on the cutting board bro yeah especially when you end on such a high note like the title track for this the last song is the best song on this project like i fucking love that song and for him to just end on that note like kind of hurt like it's good pacing for sure but it it hurts because it's seven songs and you're like you know but that's why i said even in my review it made me want to look to see if he's always made music like this because even his flex raps were unique and that to me is right. different because a lot of people just say the i fucked your bitch i got a car my wrist is frozen shit like that so him flexing in the way he did and like flexing that jesus shit and all sorts of stuff like that i was here for it, bro even the schoolboy q song they were going nuts yeah, I mean, Schoolboy Q is so underrated, bro. He's so underrated. I fuck with Schoolboy Q. He's la- he seems a little lazy to me as an artist, but I fuck with him. Yeah, facts. Uh, but, it's one of my favorite songs is still John um, John Bauer. Yeah, fire with him and Jadakiss. Fire, fucking oh my god, fire. But you know, but that project is super solid, very smooth. Definitely something to listen to. Just erase the the Young Baby Tate song off there, and you got a solid project. So. Friday. Yo, Trip said, who, "Who gives a fuck what Jabu got to say?" <laughs> Where's Jabu? First, ja? first of all, first of all, ja, ja is, if, if Dave Chappelle told you one thing, Ja is a national treasure, right? Yo, fa- <laughs> when some when something is going down, they're gonna ask Ja, "What the fuck do we do?" <laughs> Where's Ja? <laughs> Where is Ja? <laughs> Where's Ja? We need Ja. What? The world is ending. Where's Ja? We need to know what to do. <laughs> That's a fucking fact. <laughs> So, uh, so we jump into the Friday releases. The first one that wasn't Kanye was King's Yo. Disease Two. Yo. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> Kanye! If you are listening to this, I pre-ordered your album, bro. I pre-ordered it. <laughs> my, my, my cousin went to both of your concerts at Mercedes Benz Stadium. Please, just let me get it. Let me get it early. I promise you, I won't review it. I'll just yep. listen. Yo, bro. Nah, nah, we gotta I listen, review it. I, I watched the entire thing on Friday. I got high. I got high for the first time in like yeah. forever. Right? Got high. Look, my, my wife just looked at me like you did. <laughs> and I got high. I, I was dumb high, my nigga. My drone took like four or five bucks. <laughs> you started floating with right? him. Yo, bro. 
the whole time I'm sitting there reevaluating my life, like, damn, son, like Kanye is really this, yo, bro. And I'm and I was really sitting there thinking, like, yo, there's only two people ever that could do something what Kanye just did. Yeah. And I, I watched it. And, I, and I watched Michael Jackson. It too, That's and I it. was I was super, I was like, yo, this is dope. But the thing with Kanye, like, he's so unfucking organized when it comes to like getting the stuff out and all that. I'm just afraid of like, because remember, he people don't don't remember, but like when Pablo came out, he changed like five different things like weeks and weeks and weeks after it came out. Like he was constantly changing shit. So it, you 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 thought you were crazy when you see features appearing and like verses disappearing off of like your iTunes. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I just don't want like I get it. His emphasis right now, he's doing the live thing. You know, he's letting people see this experience, which is dope. But I don't want him to because I feel like he's trying to put his best version of each performance type thing on wax. Yeah. And I, I don't I don't want a fucking you know Donda live. I want I don't real, I don't either. Yeah, I want, I want the real thing. To I, want, spend I want as much time in the studio. Like I want as much time as he spent on fucking all of the lights. I want him to spend this much time on this quality of this project. Like, I don't want to hear something that's fucking, you know, equalized ridiculously and shits all over the place. And it's just, just, you know, it's just thrown together. Like I want this to be worked on. So the fact that he's postponing these things, it makes me nervous because when he did that with like the Nas release and, you know, the shit that he was doing a few years ago, shit was coming out so fucking disorganized and so sloppily it, it just fucks up his legacy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just d doesn't sound good. Like, so I need him to fucking focus, bro. Like, I need him to just give us a musical masterpiece. Like, when people said he couldn't put out anything better than College Dropout, he gave us arguably the best piece of music ever with Twisted Dark Fantasy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, shit. That was, a, I need, I mean, that I mean, and that's, and that's well, arguable too, because I mean, you still have, first of all, I, I still hold Jesus in high regards. Like, mm. when he dropped Jesus, I felt like Jesus came out years before it was actually ready for it to really, yeah, for the so world to really I enjoy. Didn't like, I didn't like Jesus that much when it first came out. And it's grown on me a little bit, but that's because of people getting in my head like, yo, just give it another chance. And I fuck with Kanye. So I was like, you know what? I didn't like it when it first came out. But now when I listen to it, I have a better appreciation for it. Yeah, but that's, that's thing, the thing with it, though. But I did like Pablo when that came out. Pablo, I, you know what? And it's crazy because I love Jesus when it came out. Did not like Pablo when it came See, out. See, I and liked Pablo. Pablo took like a while for me to Pablo grow. was a crazy, it was wild. Like Pablo was such a great depiction of his fucking lunacy that we were getting that year that I get it. Like, but I rocked with, I rocked with Pablo like heavily. And to me, it's, he's just one of those artists that can do shit like that. <laughs> right. Not, you know, not a lot of people saying. can that's, have you crossed like, over yo, different projects. Michael Michael Jackson is arguably probably the only other person that could have ever done that ever in any era to yeah. hold a concert to have the entire world watching and you literally do nothing. Michael Jackson could have just been sitting and dancing to all of his yeah. fucking music and everybody been losing their fucking minds. Yeah. And that's exactly what Kanye just did. Yo, yeah. Kanye is on a different and when the music, they say, and the music sounds fucking great. Yo, but, amazing, bro! I, I was, need, I was, I need it to. No, but I get. Yeah, I it, need it, it to translate. To, when, when that album dropped, I want goosebumps, bro, because I had goosebumps watching watching the yeah. the, the live experience. Yeah. I need goosebumps hearing the album now. Because now watching it, drops, it you, watching it, it wasn't like listening to it, and, and I appreciate watching it. Like watching it, you're like, all right, this is a fucking artist mm -hmm. at work. Mm -hmm. So I want to hear that now. Like I saw it, I felt it. I want to hear that. And that's my wow. biggest reckless. Yo, reckless. I mean, listen to Kanye stuff, man. It may not be the most perfect, but there's always gems. Like even his thing with Cuddy, there's always gems on there. That project that he made with the cover going to like Wyoming, that there's gems on there. The the religious Yo. shit that he dropped, the Jesus is King. There's gems on there. Every, like as yeah, much as every, you love everything it or not, that he drops, there's yeah, gems. Everything that he drops. First of all, late registration and um, not not college dropout. Uh, graduation, graduation yeah. probably was is one of that was one of my top. Yeah. Kanye albums until until he started dropping out new new you know more music. But Kanye yeah. is literally the only person that could drop an album and outsell anybody just off of but him not alone. Just that the thing that people have to realize that Kanye does. Damn, that's reckless. Eight oh eight. Eight oh eight is great, but his favorite. Relax. But um, 
<laughs> but yeah, the, 808, the thing with, 808s is up there. I'll, 808s it's dope. Top five. It's dope. It's dope. It's dope. Uh, 808s. But 808s, but you, have you have to be in that mold to listen to 808s. Even 808. with 808s, with Kanye, when he dropped, like, if you really think about it, when he dropped his first album, music changed. Yeah. Well, you talking about um, Got His Dropout? Yeah. <clears throat> like, hip-hop changed. Like, think of that era. Then most deaf, then black star, then common. Everybody shine yep. because Kanye influenced that era so heavily that he That's changed the pop. Now think about think about fucking um when 808s dropped. When 808s dropped, he changed. Dropped think about it that way. He changed hip hop again. Like when 808 dropped, he changed R and B and almost hip hop. You see what I'm saying? And then when Twisted Dark dropped, he changed hip hop. You feel me? He changed hip hop. Period. Every hey, time Kanye puts out certain my, albums, not yeah, all of his albums, crazy. certain albums, when Kanye is focused and he's in a bag, and whether it's depressing or not, he puts out a. If he he has certain, he's the only artist that has put out to me, arguably, three projects that changed hip hop, like completely yep. changed what people were listening to. And yep. not, not, you have artists like Drake's been around for fucking over a decade. He never changed the fucking pace of things. There's very little Wayne's been around our whole lives. He's only done it once. Uh, yeah, Carter Three. Yeah, thank you. Only once. He's only done it once. Eminem, Eminem being the legend that he's done, he's probably done it twice. That's it. Kanye has done it. Uh, times. I, I would in twice as stretch. I would probably say once. No, I, I would say, say Eminem twice. was Marshall. Marshall Mathers was huge, and then the Eminem, sh- uh, the um, the Eminem show was huge. Like music changed. Everybody tried to sound like him. Okay, okay, I get, I get, you that. Feel I me? get that. Yeah, because the Marshall, like, that's Marshall Mathers and Slim Shady LP, those, yeah. those LP, yeah, they okay, so I, like, I, I, I can see that. If you think of like the way and radio with played the show. after those two projects, like right. things changed. Yeah, because if you if you think about it, that uh, with him, without him dropping the Eminem show, Fifty yeah. wouldn't have been as hot as Fifty was. Thank you, that, and that's what I'm saying. And that was his sound. Like realistically, a lot mm-hmm. of his sound was with a lot of Fifty sound. Like as much as like that project was, is was top M. here, was it was it was, a, it was reminiscent it was of like. Yeah. And like, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's music that changes, like that changes music, you know, and not a lot of artists can really fucking do that. Like, and I'm not talking about one single and then everybody copies the single. I'm talking about oh, no, we're talking about a whole album. We're talking about a whole album that you drop and then everybody is just everybody. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. And that's everybody what I was saying. Like, if it, it wasn't for Kanye, a lot of a lot of people don't realize, like, all right, so Drake, Drake has put a lot of artists on. OK, that's true. Yeah. But Kanye has literally ushered in new generations yeah. of these artists. And, and of artists, he's actually of put artists them... that he's never not even just artists, like full sounds like like yeah. Travis full Scott, look at his whole Travis sound Scott. wouldn't have existed. Yeah. Because of the risk that Kanye C- took. Cuddy, Cuddy would not exist without, yeah. without Kanye. And that's a yeah. whole fact. If yeah. it wasn't for Big, Kanye, Big Sean, really bro, put... Big Sean. Oh yeah, Big Sean, Big Sean, and and that was the craziest part because Big Sean ran to the station while he was there. Like yeah. he was in Detroit to do an interview, and Big yeah. Sean went there, and he just got lucky. Like that's and it's just it's just these it's just these like these huge look at two chains. He revitalized two chains his whole career, bro. Dude, oh who else? Fucking Pusha T, Pusha T. He changed Pusha T's life. Yeah, he revitalized Pusha T's career. Yeah. Um, uh, Tierra Marie, fucking um. Oh man, I, there's a whole list. There's a lot, there's a lot. and it's these, it's these, it's these errors, these monumental things, and that Kanye has the power to do. Yeah, facts. And and and, and it's and it's not just because of like it's just his it's his energy. It's the people he works with. Like you cannot tell me when Kanye works with John Legend that you don't want to cry. <laughs> you know. Like whenever he works with legend or he works with like certain people, it's just it's the 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 world stops. You feel me? Like the world it stops. So I, that's I mean it sucks because we we do follow the we do the one time list and we don't put people up there. But like there is a certain amount of accountability that we hold towards Kanye that we need him yeah, to it's, be it's not fully, system. but he needs to be a quarter or half of the Kanye that we need him to be. Yeah, it's it's a tier system, and when when yeah. we're so used to you being at this at, at a god tier type level, yeah, and you you can't go below that, like yeah. like we, like the the shit that you get mad at whole for, yeah, because we hold them at this god tier level, yeah. you can't go yeah. below that shit. 
Yeah. Once you go below that shit, like we start questioning a lot of different shit. Like now we're gonna question your moves. Now we're gonna question your beat choices. Now we're gonna question lyricism and yep. and it, like it, it's a it's a trickling effect, and that shit yeah. hurts, bro. Especially yeah, when you revere real. these legends. Yeah. Because like, the, the, yeah. yeah, there's like yeah, I, hard, yeah. not a lot you of rappers have to AI your idols. idols for survival. Who said that? Yep. Drake. Facts. But yeah, Drake but any, either way. I can't wait till that comes out either way because I I need to know. I, it's like a it's like a burning question in my body. I need to know if it's that dope, as dope as what I saw. But I'm so yeah. not really enticed to listen to Kanye yet. <laughs> Yo, Yo Reckless, yeah, no, don't listen to I him, know. man. Don't Yo, listen, Reckless is out here, bro. Reckless is out here. So, but so speaking of these monumental things, now this next project, uh, this was uh, the first Friday release we did. This was King's Disease Two by Nas. I loved it. I loved it. Absolutely. I did. I <laughs> I am very I I it's thought a I ten be, for me. Uh, yeah, it was close. It was very it was very close to a ten for me. I my only thing was there was a few songs that I just was now Nas doing the new age. I have no problem with it, and I do respect Hit Boy as a producer. But, hmm. but I need but. Nas has to give me. I need Nas on some Primo and some Pete Rock sometimes. I wouldn't have been mad at it. Just if it was like half Hit Boy and then like Hit Boy would have got Boy Wonder in it, or he would have got yeah, you, where's Just Blaze? Like I, yeah. I feel like that's I feel what I'm like saying. Just and I, and I, think, is missing. I think honestly, that was my issue with King's Disease One. I think uh, Hit Boy did his thing. Hit Boy is a very dope producer. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but certain. Certain things you can tell was Nas like, yo, I want to see if I can adapt to this. And it wasn't and I don't like that. adapting to yeah. him. I don't like that. And then and the thing is, it's like Hit Boy is more of a producer for like the Drakes, the Big Sean. So for Nas to to get on Hit Boy, that's very respectable. But at the same yeah. time, it's like there's no growth for either one of them. Nas is already the legend that he is. Yeah. So Nas could literally say anything that the wh- whatever he wants, and we're probably gonna be like, yo, this is some real dope shit. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Hit Boy really has to he would have to fuck up on a on a on a beat for us to not really feel it. And I and, and yeah. all the beats was was top notch. It wasn't it wasn't he ain't scotch. They were, the beat. They, yeah, a lot I of just the beats were dope. dope. I just to me, I didn't I felt like some of them just weren't necessarily for yeah. Nas. Like like that it, track it wasn't for uh, 40 Nas. side, I wasn't fully there, there for it. That track Brunch on Sundays, I wasn't fully there for it. Even the closing track, the mm-hmm. Nas is good. I was like, uh, you know, it's still Nas did his thing because Nas is the goat. But you know what I'm saying? It's just something just was like, all right, this could have been a primo beat. This could have been, you know right. what I'm saying? Oh my God! Someone tried to say Tyler's album was better than us. Shut the fuck! That Tyler train. Don't get me reckless. Ty- Don't get me started. Ty- yeah, Tyler's album was was hot, but it wasn't better than. Yeah, it wasn't better than this. Now it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, in fact, he said he unfollowed him. I, I respect that. Now to jump on this though, the one thing that I did love as an as a Nas fan tr- through and through, Nas working with people. Nas is he even said it on the project. Like, yo, I was told, you know, I never really work with features, and then you know, someone once told me, fuck it, and. The EPMD one, I, a lot of people don't. I'm Long Island. I'm from Long Island, and I am. Yeah, a lot of people EPMD don't know fan. who EPMD is. Yeah, I, every, a lot pioneers. of people don't they're know Long who. Island's pioneers of rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they are Long Island's own. And to hear both of them, you know, Eric Sermon and Parrish Smith on a track together again, because yeah, they'll go on their tours every once in a blue, but they don't rock with each other. You don't hear them record anymore. And shout out to fucking you know the the Green Eyed Bandit for still putting out quality. And still just being dope at what he does, dope producer, working with everybody, which is super dope. But the fact that they both came together and the beat that they were on, I know Eric Sermon helped with this beat <laughs> because it screams him all over it because his beat slapped. Super dope. Now, let's talk about oh yeah, fact. Big, big, big for Redman's group. Death Squad, Terror Squad, uh, Death Squad. But um Eminem now. I'm fucking rap rap. Like, I don't <sighs> like the like, let me use a whole bunch of words because I so, fucking can. M. Yeah, I, I want the M that's like killing, killing. Like, so where's that's that the M, thing, bro? I mentioned it. Remember, I talked about it when we, we were in the Nacha Man's chat, and I said this. I rock with M. I will always rock with M. There's a huge place in my heart. But M right now is he's on top of a mountain by himself, and that's yeah. that's not for the better. He is on top of this he's mountain, screaming at himself. At he's by himself. He has no influence, yeah. and he has no one to. 
his he's sitting on a pile of his his accolades. There's no MC out there who's going to tell him otherwise. No one's going to tell him otherwise because his accolades speak for themselves. Now, Thanks. that's a gift and it's also a curse. M has no influences. So he's just doing this. I'm just going to do this hokey old white thing because this is all I know right now. And I'm doing the hurdy, dirty, dirty raps because that's all he's been doing. And there's no one there to test him. He's not rapping with artists that are going to make him do, change it up. So he needs he needs black people in his life. When M cooked Jason Jay-Z, J. Cole. <laughs> yeah, when he cooked Jay-Z, he was rapping with like 50 in them. And that whole fucking Renegades verse, that's not Hurdy Dirty M. Listen to his flow and his fucking cadence. That's black M. Listen mm-hmm. to the whole Bad Meets Evil with Royce. That's black that was, M. That was M. That was M wearing a do-rag. You forget yes. M used to Listen wear the do-rag to, to the Source better. Awards and shit. Listen that to was, when M was on forever. M. When M was on forever yep. with Drake and fucking Kanye and Wayne. That's oh, black that was, M. That was, uh, that was sweats. That was, that was sweats, pants. And, yes. and, 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 and 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 uptown glasses. M. Yes. Yep. Yes. Big white t shirt and Nietzsche fucking sweatsuit. Yup. Yup. Give bro. me that M, bro. That's that M. that's black M. And now M doesn't have that. White M feels like after he did that Trump freestyle, he's done enough for the black community. He doesn't need to be black M anymore. And nah, he still gotta be black, bro. You still black. You still black in my book, bro. Because his verse was it was solid. I mean, it is what it is. He's M. He can do things that people can't do, but this is Eminem rapping with arguably, and this is, I'm taking Daylight's words because Daylight, he took it from my brain, my thoughts. Daylight, the, you know, the mm-hmm. battle rapper. This is right. Eminem rapping on a track with arguably the first conscious rapper we've ever had with, you know, with Nas. The first like right. real deep, like take it back to Africa lyrical, but like street conscious rapper that we've probably ever had. And then him rapping with two pioneers. And you're yeah, gonna talk you about it. Christmas? Yeah, I need I need Black M because Black M would have been like Black M would have hit us with the nail nail in the coffin freestyle. Remember that yo, shit? Remember Black, that Benzino yo, facts? Nail Black in the M, coffin. That's still Black a, M. Oh my god! Would have tried to renegade Nas. <laughs> oh yeah, that <laughs> Let's talk yeah, about it would have been over, bro. It would have been over. Nas would have had to rewrite his verse, bro. I promise you, because I know yeah. I know Hov was thinking about it. I know Hov yeah. was like, <laughs> I might have to rewrite because White Boy got me. Yo. Facts, facts like Hove, and and I promise you, listen to Hove's verse. Hove had to sauce so hard because there wasn't much yo, you can bro. do to stand out. Yo, bro, he had to sauce so hard. He bro. was like, saucing. And, and, You've never yeah, heard and, Jason and sauce anybody that much. and anybody anybody that said Hove had a better verse is because it's all because of Hove really just saucing, bro, going nuts with the cadence, yeah. bro. That was it. Yeah. That was it, because that's all, all he really had, bro. Like, he did, he was like, if all this was it. wrestling, he did all of his moves, finishing moves, immediately. That's a <laughs> fact, bro. Whereas, like M, whereas... <laughs> M came with everything. M was just M in the corner the waiting for the tag. Yeah. And I needed, I needed M to do that on this. I needed M to do that, and he didn't. He had those corny punches that I cringed for. Yo, when I saw his feature name on the track list, when not, I was like, oh my God, let's hope M doesn't do no corny shit. And he did, I and I was like, until Come I heard on. It. And I'm like, huh? yo, bro, I know that this is not the M that we are accustomed to. Like, yeah, I need no, M, need bro. I need M. M. We need that black M sometimes. Yeah, Just a little bit. We don't need him all the time, M. But the sprinkle of him is what happens. Like, think about when M rapped on that track with fucking... <laughs> What was the track with Dr. Dre and someone else? And he was like, just put some big and some pot and mix them up in a pot, sprinkle a little big L on top. Dude. Oh, that's that's on um, that's 50. Bro. That's on 50 shit. Bro. That was on Get Rich or Die Trying. Bro, like that verse was from the fucking heavens. He wrote that it with the killers hammer. out up in the nut. The juggernaut to this red shit. Yo. Like it in that. It's like a fight to the Snap. death. You die Patiently for this waiting. Fight. Yes, Yo, thank bro. you, Reckless. Patiently oh waiting. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, that was on Get Rich or Die Trying. Yeah. Yo, M blacked out. And we I needed one of those tier verses from him. Like, just That's because you bad. rap, like, he didn't need to rap fast on that song for me to be like, oh, nah, we don't need that. He really that. didn't. We don't need he really the didn't. He was all, he was all beat, no, okay. He I, I, I'm, I'm not going <clears> to <throat> hold it. But, I mean, he was all beat a little bit. 
Yeah. But it was just the fact I just don't like it. I, I don't it's like too much. I, I love I love when M punches, but that was way too much. It's too much. It's too much syllables and it's too much. It's too much. I can rap fast. Like you're not on a track with Joyner Lucas and Logic, bro. Like calm down. You're on a track with Nas. Yeah. Give us some fucking medicine, bro. We don't need just fast food raps. We need medicine, bro. Give us give us something fucking. Give us flows. Like give us the M that give fucking us, used to sneak out bars. Master A shows, us, bro. Like cut it out. Yeah, like give us give us some like give us something to like really talk about bro instead of yeah. us talking about this dumb shit because yeah. this, I, all i really want is m to fucking ah, man i, I, I want slide. i want i want m, and m, to m back that's that's yeah. a, that's a fact bro that's what yeah. i want back yeah that's what i need we need m we need m to, we need m around black people but um what was it curtain calls curtain yeah. calls yeah yeah that's that money back facts so my uh, my favorite verse on this project, strange enough, because it was just so aggressive. I thought YG had probably the, for me, the first best verse on this project, and then Lauren Hill. So YG's verse was nuts because he was saying some cold shit like, "Yo, you should, heard your man's show got shot up." I greenlit it. Shit like that gets me, you know, makes me want to fight, and I fuck with it. And I fuck with I YG, YG, you know. I, I, yo, I you know, love YG. I fuck with YG. I love I YG. Really do. His, his speeches is fantastic. are always fucking fire it's just his albums yeah. bro he's he just dope. doesn't he's he dope. doesn't give that same energy in his albums because i think it's too much for his albums because all the yg's albums usually lose steam you know it'll be like yeah. half bangers and then half is just like kind of just forced because i feel like he loses steam but when he has a feature he doesn't have to waste it all on a project so he goes nuts but um I thought having when I saw Lauren Hill, I'm like, there's no way. What are they going to try to recreate? You know, if I rule the world. And then when she started rapping, and I'm like, she kind of murdered Nas on this track. I was impressed. Yeah, yeah, bro. I need more Lauren Hill, bro. More Lauren, more Lauren Hill drops one more album. And yeah. You know what's good? She, though? I just because I give her shit all the time. I give her shit all the time because. If you go to see her live, it is not a fun experience. She's always late. It's she not, can't play her own yeah. music. She plays random stuff and sings her lyrics. It's just not fun. It's not a good time. And it sucks because I do fuck with Lauren Hill. And it's like she's the prime example of like, don't sign with people, you know, the wrong type of deals. You know, she is the prime example. And right. I like that she acknowledged it, talking about, you know, her being late, which was dope. But this seeing Lauren Hill have this energy, because she she went and had like 13 kids. She broke down on like MTV Unplugged and just stopped. So to see her with this hunger, and maybe if it was for for Nas, I get it. But like, if she has this hunger, I would love to see her put out like a five piece, just something to just heat check us. You know, don't dump all your, you know, don't jump all into the basket, throw all your eggs in there. But give us a fucking heat check, you know. And I'm, I'm I'm for that. Yeah, I'm you know, that. I want to if I want to see if this passion is real because she snapped. Yeah, let's yeah. keep it a billion. She, she fucking blacked out. He's like blacked out. Like I was just like, she kind of, she kind of, you know, renegated Nas on this track. <laughs> Let's keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of did. But either way, I rock with this project a lot. I just need, I need to hear, I need New York Nas. I need New York. You can set up her Miss Education album, a hip hop album, even though she mostly, it is a hip hop album. To me, it's, it is. It's, it's, it's very hip hop. It's very yeah, hip hop. It's, it's, like it, I mean, even even the singing on the, it, it was more it was more fucking, melodies than anything. It's got it all the hip-hop. elements. It's got the sampling. It's got the you know what I'm saying. Like hip hop yeah. and R and B are synonymous. Like it's it's got everything you need on there. So I absolutely consider that an album. But that's also one of those like like I as much as I consider Dark Twisted Fantasy Fantasy a hip hop, I consider that a musical masterpiece for all music. I, I consider it more of a uh, what's that what's that. Uh, What's that one genre of music? The fucking um, not like uh, not like the cinema, like you know the music from the cinemas and stuff like that. But it's like mm. damn near close to it. Like what's that? The uh, but the trumpets and shit. What, what the oh, fuck like is scores, that called? Like theatrical man? or like yeah. Symptoms. That's what I. That's yeah. what I consider um or- orchestral. Um, yeah, yeah, my yeah. twisted. Yeah, that's what I consider. Oh, yeah. That's why I Musical, think that just this album is masterpieces. Be. Like to me, it's just yeah. a win for music. Period. Like anybody can find something on there that they can just truly think is sonically um, as a masterpiece. Thanks. It's something that someone made not with the mindset of a rapper. <laughs> you feel me? Like well, Kanye didn't make yeah, that. Like you no, know, I'm trying to kill these rap true. streets. He made that going. I'm going to make the best music that I possibly can make right now. And he did. Yeah, that, and but and I think that's what that's what you have to do. I hate when people sometimes you need get to get into yeah. this. 
oh, I'm just gonna do no, do do what you think is the best music it's, it's, that it's, you hey, think you can you make. Be, it's like, do you want to be a rapper or an artist? You know, and that's just how yeah, it goes. That, yeah, that's what it really comes down to. Do you, do you want to be this? Do you want to be a rapper or do yeah. you really want to be an artist? Yeah, I mean, you it's, know? It's, and, it's, it's it's in every field. If you're in the NBA, do you want to just be a, a sharpshooter or do you want to be LeBron James and do everything? Right. You got to work for it. If you want to do everything, you got to work for it. And that's that's it. But there's niggas that just want to play center, that just want to work the post, you know? They don't want to do anything else. They can't hit free throws. So, I mean, that's part of it. But either way, I consider it a hip-hop album and more. But um, this this Nas is, you know, not to stray too far from it. This King's Disease is dope. And for me, it was super fire. For me, it's definitely up there. For me, I probably would easily a nine. For me, maybe a little more. But I... I needed more New York. I needed a, you know, some sam- some large professor type mix up shit, some Pete Rock, some. But you're not gonna you're not gonna get that from Hit Boy though. No, and no. I but think that, what I'm saying is, I need hit. I don't need Nas to only work with Hit Boy. Like I need Nas to be in control because he's Nas. <laughs> right, right, right. Kind of like what Ove does when he goes in. But and, yeah. and that's why I think I, you know, when you're a legend, it should be, I'm going to get who I want, and yeah. we're going to do this in a way that I wanted to go. Yeah. And that's just how it has to be. Yo, you know, you look at how he some... goes into his, uh, his sessions and yeah. even Kanye, I'm bringing yeah. people. I really want around me at this you particular know, time to make, I have a me. hot take. <clears throat> I think Hove is upset that Kanye didn't drop because he needed his song with Kanye to come out with Nas's album. Because you know how I don't Hove think so. Always, you know how Hove always drops when Nas drops. Nah, that's a fact though. He, I saw like Hove might be upset because Kanye was supposed to drop, and that's why all we saw like on Friday. Not only did Nas's album come out, but people were like leaked Kanye West and Jay Z song. You know, that's just a hot take. Yeah. I feel like Jay Z probably a little upset about it, but that's a hot take. But, anyway. I mean, but aren't they cool now? Like, aren't they friends? Uh, it's, like, it's, they're they... never going to be cool. When you get, if you got ethered, business aside, even if you 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 have business with someone, I would never be okay with that. <laughs> if someone made an ether at me, I'd never be okay with that. We could shake hands on camera. I'm going to hate them in the barbershop. <laughs> 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 you feel me? I'm going to talk shit. That's fair. You. That's fair. Because ether is fucked up. Nah, it is. Ether it had is. niggas driving around all of Queens, Brooklyn, all that yelling out "fuck Jay Z." Yo, that's and that's why, like, <laughs> I don't understand this whole Meek Mill and Drake shit because am I paying Drake? Ether killed me. him. He killed him. Like, like you can't Bro, like me- at that pick- at that particular time you could not go to the club and, and hear um back to back and not hear Meek, like Meek got mad. Being in the club as Meek, Meek got mad. Oh yeah, he didn't. didn't yeah. Wasn't he about to fight a DJ because he played back to back? Yeah, it's like you lost, you lost. Yeah, bro. You know, like if once you get mad at a DJ for playing like a hit song, like you lost. Jake Drake put out a hit song diss track at you. There's nothing you can do. Nah, yes, it's just yeah. It's over. Once said, they play it in the club, YB gets sent to a room grounded. She locks the door and blasts ether. I, I bet. Yeah, once they play it in the but, clubs, bro, it's over. It's over for you, bro. Over. It's over. And, it's and then on top of that, back then, all it was, it was the radios, bro. Radios was everything. So Hot 97, Yo, Power 105. Every and time every, I went out back then, go, every bro. club I'd go to, that song would come on. Like, he died. Like, he died. Yeah. Meek changed his whole life after that. Oh, yeah. And well, no, I was talking about not, whole, but Meek? Oh, Meek oh, was different. Oh, but see, Meek not was only different did, because... Did that, not only did that kill Meek, it brought him life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it really did. It really did. Because if it wasn't for that song, like... It changed his life. Yeah, it did. It really did. There's nothing you can do about that. But um, oh, man, but anyways, to move on, because we, you know, we tangent it. The next project was uh, Hide the Body Bag by Body Bag Ben and Rick Hyde. This fucking project slapped. This shit is heavy punchline street rap. All the Griselda ad-libs. And just fire cuts and drug goon fighting shit, which I loved. I loved, I love street, you know, just street rap. This is shit that you listen to before a fight. This is the shit you listen to when you're ready to cause violence towards your neighbors type shit. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) And I was quick with it. It was quick. It's five songs. They're all aggressive. These dudes are rapping about the same shit. 
and it is a good time. This shit is fucking fun, bro. With the name, I mean, what do you expect? Body Bag Ben, Rick Hyde, like this shit's a good time. Yeah, I, I was. I, I really enjoyed this one too. I, I like the fact that like when they went bar for bar. Oh yeah. Like, it just felt like they was just having a good fucking they time. Was having, like they were just, it's just like the being that shit and, they could. You, you know, you know what it remind me of? It reminds me of when Jada and Styles like really yeah. go at it. Yeah, and it's always this was that. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> yeah. and that you know what you know what? Oh, I, just a just a tangent. So shout out to you know the locks and the dipset verses, but like even how the like styles and cameron were going at it and they were like you know he was pulling on his shoes and how they get really competitive and how they were like how like fucking jada kiss threw joel's headband on the floor like that's an energy that people don't understand that's a new york energy you know what i'm saying like when you're just highly respected and you're cool like that that's not a beef thing like sucker dudes from other hoods will be like yo that's beef in my hood but they don't understand that new york energy you know what I'm saying? Like that's how dudes in New York are. And if you ever hear a track, you ever hear a track with any of those dudes on it, it, the the energy is I'm going to out punch you. I'm going to punch you to death. I'm going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? But it's love, and that's how music should be. That's the one thing that that's why people still revel in the old school golden era of New York because no one else had that. Country niggas was just like everything we make is fire because we're all friends. We're from down south. And everyone in the West was like, hey, you know, we're just pushing completely super gang affiliated people. So that's all we care about. And New York was like, no, we're going to this the battle of the boroughs. Anytime we feature together, anytime we fucking get near each other or play shows. And that shit is fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's dope energy. And, like pe- you know, and people just they'll never understand that energy. And speaking of the the locks, and uh, I'm not going to dive too much in it, but that versus. So I will say there is a difference between the what you know the versus was that we knew and what it's become because of like shit opening up and shit like that. And if you know if you know the locks, you know their energy, their homies. And then if you know Dipset, a lot of it was business. Only a few of them really fuck with each other. And we all know how Cameron is. So. The way that shit was set up, like we knew it, it turned into a battle rap event that only the locks knew about. You know what I'm saying? Like it was pure chaos. And I'm one of those people that like I on wax, I'm like, yo, I think Dipset has that. I think Dipset has it. I've I've always liked Dipset's quality. I always like what they've done and shit like that. But I'm not saying they had it via wash. But personally, I just always thought that their beats. I, I fuck with their beat selection. I fuck with you know hit makers, uh, you know heat makers and shit like that. So I'm like yo, and I've always just fucked with Dipset more. But I've always I grew up loving the locks, and I think that they're do- dope too. I don't fuck with Just Blaze. Everybody who knows me knows I don't. Not Just Blaze. I mean, um, yeah, is it just who's the one that's fucking married? No, to no. So you suck them on Swiss. Swiss beats. I, everybody knows I don't fuck with Swiss beats. I fuck with Just Plays. My fault. I don't fuck with Swiss beats. And I just, to me, they, to me, the Dipset should have won that on Wax. But if they don't come with that live stage energy that people can see and witness and like just that raw hip hop aggression, like if this was a boxing match, the locks won by unanimous decision <laughs> you know what i'm saying because they did everything they dabbed the aggression they pushed the fight they were in their faces and it just but on paper it's like well to me i thought dipset should have won but they just weren't right. right you know what i'm saying uh and then they forgot they lyrics and shit like yeah. that yeah and it's it's just it just got so chaotic because like to me even now like even after that you know how um itunes puts out like the playlist and you get to listen to it. I'm like, I still have, I still have Dipset winning, but live, it's it's undeniable. You, you they lost. You know what I'm saying? Undeniable. They yeah. lost. They got shitted on. They got nah, they lost. They got memed. And Jada Kiss fucking bullied them. He was just talking shit, and like he went crazy. He went crazy, and it was it was super entertaining. It was New York as fuck. It was a huge win for New York. I loved it. I absolutely yeah, loved it. The memes, fantastic. Jewel's looking like a pile of clothes from the 90s. I get it. It's fantastic. But that's the beauty of it. You know what I'm saying? That's the beauty. That's the, that's New York shit. We wouldn't get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a New York shit. <laughs> and, and, you know, but, you know, shout out. Shout out to that. But either way, 
Um, the, but that the, to reference the body bag hide in them, they they were trying to kill each other on that type of level, and I fucked with like them working on a track trying to kill each other, him and Rick Hyde type shit. So super dope. And then the last project we did was uh, the Storms Coming Part Two by Rainstorm. Um, this was a audio Mac project. Honestly, I don't have too much to say about this project. It didn't stand out too much as good to me. It wasn't bad, but I think it was being 21 songs. I don't think that this dude was just dope enough to give me 21 songs. I didn't enjoy it at all. It was too much. I think I got like halfway through. It was just too much. It was too much going on. It was so Um, much. There's a billion features. There's so many samples. There's so many like legendary things that they cut apart. You had like a cut up Big L verse thrown into this, all sorts of shit. And I just feel like when it came down to you know rain doing his thing it was solid but this this just felt like it just felt like one of those you know madison square garden or those middle of new york city mixtapes that if you touch it you have to pay for it that they're selling out of trunks and shit yeah i, I didn't enjoy it I, I got halfway through it it was just too many songs <laughs> it's 20, <laughs> it was just too it's many 20, songs it's 21 it's 21 yeah, i don't think anybody just, has the patience for that I, I didn't. Especially for a I tape. Did. Like the mixtape era, it realistically is dead. Yeah. It was, shout out to Trey, though. Shout out to Trey. He, Yo, shout out to Trey really for listened. fucking, you know, being a scholar Trey. about it, giving a solid review. Just to me, I just couldn't fully be on board with this. Like, yeah, like, I just, it was too much. It was a lot of repetition. This is like someone who just doesn't want to waste songs, but they have so many throwaways. So they just threw everything together. And. It just it was just too much for me. I, I I didn't fully full like I I can hear there's there's stuff on here that can be taken, you know, and be like this is solid, this is solid, but uh, there's only so much you can take out of 21 songs. <laughs> you t- you cut 10 songs off of this, then then we can talk. Yeah, facts. N- not <laughs> even, not even, because it, it yeah. wasn't even it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It w- even if you give me 10, because the 10 that I heard <laughs> was not yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I'm right there with you. I didn't think it was terrible, but I just I, I didn't care. I was so much so that it was just like ah, this is okay, I guess. You know, like if someone showed it to me, I wouldn't be like this is trash. I'd be like, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna forget this in two seconds. Right, but yeah, it was it was bad. But that's really it, though. But um, either way, that is the end of our recap. Appreciate you people joining in and all that good stuff. But yeah, man, tomorrow I am going to do some single reviews. So send them shits in. Tomorrow we're going to get our our Twitch stream going. And um, yeah, man, same old, same old, man. I got some music coming out soon. Everybody's got music coming out soon. I'm going to start really just throwing out music because I make fun of people for hoarding music. And I'm the biggest music hoarder ever. So I'm going to start dropping some stuff soon. Uh, some terrible stuff first, then some good stuff, but you'll, we'll see how it is. But um, <laughs> either way, man, it's John D and Prince Perez here. We are signing off. I will holla at y'all. Yo, Lou, we got to play some Slick Gate. Yo, bro, I'm fit. It's fire. I'm fit. What are you playing, fit. Uh Xbox. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, yeah, it's crossplay, but I don't, you know, crossplay is always like a struggle, but. um. But yeah, I'm down to play some. Maybe we can even fuck around tomorrow and get a stream so you can see me go God mode. I've been wrecking people. Yeah, just, just let me know, bro. All right. All right, man. All right, peoples. Peace. And if you play video games, hit us up. But we out. Reckless, shout out to you, sir. Tell your boys to don't be so mad about these reviews, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> they suck. Oh, Peace. like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yo, facts. Like, subscribe, follow us on all social media at Not Your Mans, all that good stuff. And, you know, all that. Yeah, just follow us. Stop fucking around. Peace. <laughs> All right.